Hi, I'm Gordon Chen. I'm originally from Charleston, West Virginia, but I currently call home one of the best cities in the country, Washington, D.C., our nation's capital. I'm an attorney by training, but a designer by passion. Well, let me show you a little of my design and style in my current project. My two level walk, it's only a five, ten minute train ride from downtown D.C. Come on home with me. Let's hop on the metro. We're now in the Columbia Heights neighborhood of Washington, D.C. In coming up with the design, I like to take a space and transform it into a whole. This is a pretty good indication of the blank canvas I started out with. Pretty much just a lot of empty space, a lot of white walls, and not much style. Welcome to my home. Why don't we go inside and I'll show you around. Come on in. I'm now standing with the foyer of my loft right behind me. It's the first thing you see when you come through the door, so I want to make sure to set the tone right away as you walk through the door. And I did so by doing these horizontal stripes. They're very soothing and serene, but also it leads your eye into the space and it gives the illusion of a longer hallway. Did this tone-on-tone -tone stripe, you think it would take some time, and it does, but it's a pretty easy endeavor if you use this. Yep, painter's tape that you can pick up from your local hardware store. And of course, you need to level to make sure your lines are straight. But you put on your painter's tape, you put on your first color, put on the second color, take off the tape, and this is the final result. And again, it's a great way to welcome guests. I used a very clean and contemporary design for this main level of the loft, but yet I wanted to keep it warm, which played well into the color scheme, which was really dictated and inspired by the rug that I'm standing on. It's a lot of concentric squares, but it's got great colors. The deep mocha browns, a deep brick red, a little hint of olive, and light khakis. And again, working with a small space, literally under 1,100 square feet, had to come up with a pretty cohesive color palette throughout this main living area, which you'll notice is also picked up with a couch. Just a deep brown mocha leather couch with paired up with just punches of red and khaki pillows. And again, that all ties in to the color scheme that's used throughout on the main level. Also in coming up with the design, I like using things out of the ordinary or for a different purpose. And that's pretty indicative of the mirrors that I have running up along the metal stairwell. They're just typical square mirrors that I found at a home design shop, and I decided to just put them up on the stairs. But the nice thing is, if I decide I don't like the mirrors, they come right off. That's the great thing about working with metal, that you can use magnets. And these magnets, which I picked up at the local craft store for under $2, tacked them on, glued them on, and there are the mirrors. But again, if I wanted to change it out, I can always take them off. That just adds a little bit of whimsy and a little bit of pop into the space. Now the best part about this loft that I really like is the lighting fixture that's above me. It's a custom piece that's circular, kind of looks like a little spaceship. We're now in the den, which is also on the first floor of the loft. As you can tell, it's a very small space. It's only about 10 by 10. And of course, the dilemma here was it's pretty open to the rest of the living area on this first level. So I wanted to make it a very cohesive space. And I did so by bringing that red brick color onto this accent wall back here. Because it was a small space, I don't utilize it every day, I want to add a little fun to this area. And I did so by doing a couple things. One, I decided to accent this lamp that's behind me by adding these crystal mirror beads that are hanging down. And you wouldn't, be, you wouldn't know it, but they came in a box just like this. It's actually a Christmas garland that I found at a local retailer for like $1.50. I just strung it up, tacked it up with some clear thumbtacks, and it looks great. Here on the second level of the loft is the main sleeping area. Again, the design here was all about making this bed the focal point of this entire space on the second level, from the top all the way down to the bed. Started off by painting behind the headboard, that deep mocha brown from downstairs and carrying that color scheme up from downstairs. Paired that up with a little bit of fun by adding these metal beads that I found at a design store down the street. It's a screen, I ended up just hanging it up, and it just adds that little bit of fun and texture against this nice chocolate brown wall. Of course, the bed, this great tufted upholstered headboard. It's very hotel chic, and again, on the bed, it's all about texture, texture, texture. From these great pillows, from these shams, which are made in this luxurious silk, down to the suede, leather, striped silk, and of course, my favorite, 
the Chenille Proas, which are ever so comfy. And again, it's all this neutral earth tone color scheme with the browns, the dark mochas, the light tans, which carries well from downstairs and works into making this a very cohesive space, but yet a very luxurious bedroom area. Of course, a little bit of tradition are the sconces that flank both sides of the headboard. Traditional, that these sconces are very contemporary with these clean modern lines, and of course, they're topped off by that rich velvet chocolate trim. And again, it makes this a great luxurious bedroom area. Of course, the final in this bedroom is the chandelier that's above the bed. Twist on tradition, typical crystal chandelier, but paired up with a contemporary modern shade. Another challenge in transforming this space to a home was this, what to do with the second floor area, this catwalk area. It's a very small space, only about three feet wide. So I decided to make it a little sitting area with this reading bench. Not only is it a reading bench, it also doubles as, you guessed it, additional storage. You can never have enough storage. So under this bench, there are drawers here. You just stow away all your photo albums, additional things you don't need to get to on a day-to-day -day basis. And it's great storage, yet it functions also as a sitting area. You've seen how I can transform a blank canvas of a space by using innovative and creative design ideas into a warm and welcoming home right here in the heart of Washington, D.C. So I'm ready to push the wall books aside, give up the day job, and become HGTV's next design star and help you transform your house to a home.